when it comes to Ghosts from the Past Yu-Gi-Oh products, which one do you prefer personally? Ghosts from the Past 1 or Ghosts from the Past 2? Let's start with Ghosts from the Past 1. And I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, which of these two products I like the most or which is, uh, you know, just better overall. First of all, Ghost Rares, guys, it's my, my personally, my favorite rarity in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, if I'm being honest, man, it's... In my opinion, the best rarity in all of TCG, man. There's no other TCG rarity better than Ghost Rares, man. Yeah, there's only three packs. For Ghost of the Past 1, it's only three packs per mini box. So, yeah, man. I do truly believe that Ghost of the Past, I mean, Ghost Rares are the best looking in all of TCG. The best looking rarity. Ooh, first pack. Wait, wait, wait. That's not it. Never mind. I thought uh, I thought this was uh, the good Ultra Pro. Never mind. So, yeah, first pack. Um kind of tragic i'm not gonna lie you guys agree disagree let me know your thoughts man you know what let me know your favorite rarity in all of tzg all of them pokemon you know dragon ball one piece magic the gathering which is the favorite rarity for me ghost rare it's actually by far the best man and when it comes to these two products i like me personally i like ghost in the past one more but i truly believe that ghost in the past two it's overall a better set when it comes to value and everything like that because uh because uh when it comes to pulling ghost rares the ghost rare uh, pull ratio is way better in ghost in the past two meaning you can get a ghost rare way way better or your, your odds to pull a ghost rare from ghost in the past two is way easier than from ghost in the past one so the reason why i like goes in the past one better anyways is because in my opinion guys every single ghost rare from goes to past one every single ghost is actually really really nice and it's just harder to pull man you know so brings i, I guess it brings that that hunt even more so i don't know how to explain it but yeah man every single ghost rare from goes to past one is actually really really amazing where arguably not all ghost rares from ghost of the past two are awesome i would argue maybe three four maybe five tops uh ghost of the past two are actually decent the rest all the other ones are just meh if i'm being honest okay now uh i'll switch to ghost of the past two right after this uh, mini box so speaking of uh you know ghost rares uh, from ghost of the past one dark magician uh ghost rare man it's it's by far the best of all the ghost rares man i'm pretty sure it's still like super expensive four to five hundred bucks maybe oh this is the good uh, ultra i'm pretty sure and sorry night yeah also uh the product you know like, like the seal product the packs themselves they look really fancy they look really nice man like overall it's it's yeah i mean in my opinion i don't think it's worth buying if you really want to go through it just buy the actual goals but uh oh nice rumors another good ultra man and even though it's not worth buying in my opinion it's still really cool you know for uh, to chase a ghost to hunt for a ghost because overall it is a lot of fun set man at least you get all hollows you know so it doesn't feel that bad i guess so yeah it goes to the past two blue eyes white dragon man it's now the number one chase or not chase maybe not chase. oh here we go the wing dragon of raw spirit mode let's go i was gonna say oh man look at this just look at that, man. <laughs> the Blue Eyes White Dragon, guys, is now the most expensive goes where every single, since the day this set came out, a uh, Domination Girl was always the most expensive, but now it's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And look at that beauty, man. Let's go. It's been a while. And you know what? It's all thanks to my head ghosted. Let's go. By the way, I want to give big shout outs to my boy Rocky Sarasano. You're going to. You're gonna hear that name a lot in the next couple of weeks. Almost every single time I, I upload a video, he actually this these all these two boxes are not mine. These are his. So Rocky, I just got your goals right, my man. So yeah, you're gonna hear Rocky Sarasano's name a lot. Big shout out, my man, and congrats. And you know what? Let's pull another ghost. So I was saying, man, to get a ghost right from Ghost of Past Two, it is very difficult. But yeah, I mean the odds of you getting, I mean, I believe. Some cases with uh, 10 of these mini boxes or the uh, the display boxes, there's some cases you, you, that you got like multiple ghosters from. Some cases you don't get any ghosts at all, man. But when it comes to uh, 
goes to pass one. Yeah, man, that the the ghost rare pull ratio is just insanely bad. I'm really happy I got a ghost rare though, and you know, uh, the wing dragon raw speed bro, it's actually not bad, man. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not you know, not nearly one of the best, but I'm really happy about that one. The cool thing about ghost of the past two is that I heard people say that they actually got multiple ghost rares with one display box. So there is a big, big chance we get another ghost rare, actually. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Grissom, run. Uh, before, it, it got banned. It was super, super strong. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was like double digits when it comes to value. It's all good, though. The Magician Girl, man. Mystical Sand. Uh, you know what? Speaking of Rocky, man, he didn't mention. I forgot which ghost rares he was missing. I know he's got the blue eyes. Wait. I know he's got the Domination Girl, though, for sure, because I pulled that for him uh, way back when the first set came out. I was missing one. I forgot which one. But, hey, man, you know what? It's a Ghost Rare, and if you're a Ghost Rare lover, you take any Ghost Rares any freaking day of the week, you know? Last pack of the, of the mini box. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Borlord Dragon. Not bad. Switching back. Two ghosts from the past one. Come on, Dark Magician. I'm I one thing I do know is my guy Rocky is really looking to get Dark Magician. I believe he was almost buying it. Oh no, wait, he didn't buy it. Did, he, did you buy it, Rocky? No, no. He was trying to buy it. But it's just too expensive. So let's pull him for him. That way he can save himself like four or five hundred bucks, right? I think he was gonna trade it, perhaps though. So when it comes to trading, it's not that bad if you just letting go of cards that you don't want anymore. Or cards that you don't need. Or just cards you have multiple copies of. So when it comes to trading, it's not that bad. But buying it, yeah, super expensive. Hopefully we can pull it here for Rocky. Here we go. Last pack. Or oh, that mini box. Wait, it's at the end. Uh, oh, vampire boy boy. So let's see. We got two more mini boxes. This one and one more mini box from Ghost of the Past. One. I'm going to leave the mini box towards the end. And then I'll open up the rest of the Ghost of the Past 2 right after this one. Come on. But bullshit, your town and dragon. See, uh, one of the things I really don't like about this set, unfortunately, is that the ghost rares are pretty much the only cards with value. Other than that, it's pretty much, I don't know, a couple bucks worth of cards. You know what I mean? Come on. So let's get a ghost rare. Samdalon, okay, okay. Uh, last pack with the Dark Magician. Come on. Can we make it? Can we make it happen for Rocky? Cosmo Joe. Oh, man. Let's go back to Ghost of the Past 2. Can we get two Ghost Rares from the display box? Let's find out. Something tells me, man, there's going to be one of these uh, error, quote unquote error, display boxes with multiple Ghost Rares in them, man. Because we pulled that Ghost Rare pretty fast, man. It is a uh, dark alligator. It is in the middle. Uh, the Ghost Rare that is. So, Dark Magician Girl. Even though. Rocky's got the Domination Girl already. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. We can pull it again. Deco Talker Heat Soul. We should be really good. And then he just can just trade it, you know? Sell it. Trade it for the Dark Magician, right? Two more packs. Come on. Fallen Sanctuary. Dang. Last pack from that mini box. And it is, of course, the Domination Girl. Here we go. Come on. Ah, uh, the, 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 the Divine Zero King Rage. It's kind of crazy, man, seeing the blue eyes, ghost rares, just skyrocket in price uh, to the $200 mark, uh, price mark. And I am I believe it's because of the uh, new support for the blue eyes coming up, you know? So people want to play with the ghost rare, maybe. Chaos. And that's probably why I think uh, it, was always, it was always like in the low 100s, maybe 140 tops. And all of a sudden, boom, $200 plus. Here we go. Ah, oh, Fallen. Dang, man. Okay, you know what, man? We shouldn't be complaining. One goes rate is actually not bad at all. So far, anyways. Sigma! The Ancient of Life. Dang, man. Now, speaking of the devil with the blue eyes, uh, white dragon goes rare, man. Come on. Come on. Fossil Machine Skull. Proxy Horse. The D D D Bias King Rekian. Hey, we got the last mini box from Ghost of the Past 2, and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, actually, I forgot to mention that. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to like the video, guys. 
and let's see and also for good luck to pull another ghost rare let's see last mini box and then i'm gonna be opening the last mini box from ghost of past one right after this last mini box magic right uh, hopefully okay blue eyes come on here we go ghost trick vampire kingdom yeah i don't know the, the zero king rage Oh yeah, Savage Dragon, man. Savage Dragon Ghost Rare is one of those. I think it's, I think it might be the most underrated Ghost Rare in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think, at least close. Here you go, Tempest Spirit, Dark Magician of Dark uh, Dragon Knight. That's a really good Ultra, at least. Hey guys, last pack from Ghost of the Past Two, and I'm super excited, super happy that we pulled a Ghost Rare, man. I haven't pulled a Ghost Rare in so so long, man. Here we go, last pack, Sandwich. Uh, Chronicle Magician. Last mini box goes to the past. The Magician, the Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon. No, no, the alternate Blue Eyes White Dragon. What else? So many, man. All of them. All of them are literally amazing. Here we go. Wish me luck. And let's leave the Dark Magician artwork pack to the end. Here we go, man. We got this. Oh, yeah. Black Soul Soldier. That's right. It's amazing. Okay. Sunseed. Should be all the way in the back, hopefully. Oh, Matrix Black Comet Dragon is really good. I'm pretty sure it's a few dollars, at least. Okay. Oh, come on. Galaxy Eyes. Splash Mage. Come on, Shadow. Dragonity Glow. Okay, guys, last pack. Magic or Tragic. Come on. Who believes, man? Who believes in last pack magic? Come on. Oh, Miss Belly, <laughs> Metal Falls, Time Thief, Sunbine Shrine, and oh, Tesalos, the Mega Monarch. We did end up pulling a Ghost Rare, which I'm super happy about. Congrats, Rocky, and thank you so much, man, once again. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.